That's all for NB12 News tonight. As we close, we'd like to leave you with this special NB12 tribute to the late Charles Maynard, a friend of many of us here at NB12. We'll see you right here tomorrow night. I'm so grateful to be here this evening. Grateful to our former party leader, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, who back in 2006 demonstrated his trust and confidence in me and what he believed I may bring to this great party. When I and my colleagues from the Coalition for Democratic Reform sealed our fate with the free national movement. I am so grateful for having the opportunity to serve as in an f and government, to represent the wonderful constituency of Golden Isles, and I'm grateful for all the things that brought me to this day and to this moment, that I may be granted this wonderful privilege of standing before you with the awesome tasks and duties of such an important office as this, at this critical place in this party's existence. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> I, I can be honest with you, um, my, my wife and immediate family had to take a deep breath <laughs> in terms of, of, of digesting the whole thing and realizing that coming off of being a, a minister in, in government, that, that was not a nine to five scenario where, where I was going, going in the evenings and in the, in the, in the weekends and so on. Now to, to kind of pick up where I left off as national chairman is, is a lot to, for them to, to, to do, but they understand that, that this is a passion for me and that I want to give service and that um, I'm going to do the best to balance my life and right. to be able to make sure that I can earn a living, um, I can um, spend time for the good development of my kids and, and, and spend time with my wife, but at the same time give service to my country. Mm -hmm.